Today, I was reading um, out of Ecclesiastes. This is where I'm at, and I'm, I'm using the uh, JPS uh, Tanakh. It's the Jewish Publication Society, and I couldn't find it online, so I had to type it up. But here it is. I just love the way that they translated this. It says, out of Ecclesiastes 7, 13 through 14, Consider God's doing. Who can straighten? what he has twisted. So in a time of good fortune, enjoy the good fortune. And in a time of misfortune, reflect. The one no less than the other was God's doing. Consequently, man may find no fault with him. <laughs> and as I, as I thought about this, and you know, Ecclesiastes is a hard book to understand because there's so many things that he says that are just like, it seems like he has no concept of the resurrection from the dead. So he says a lot of things that just, I mean, even though he keeps going back to God, he, it seems like he's lost sight of the, the hope of the resurrection. So there's, there's some things that he says that seem completely foolish, but then there's some gems in there like this that, that make us remember like Job and how we, how, you know, God was the one who pointed out Job to Satan. He said, have you considered my servant Job? And Satan's like, yeah, I saw him and, and you've protected him. And then the Lord removed the protection and gave Job into his hands. So, but this is just an echo of that, that the good fortune and the misfortune, both of them were God's doing. And even if God brings good fortune or misfortune, we still have no place to find a fault to accuse God. He is perfect. He is the only one who is just. He knows what he's doing. You know, the Lord had shown me at one point in time, if there was a way for him to, to create and, and fulfill his purpose in the earth without evil existing, there would be no evil. <laughs> so evil is necessary to accomplish God's purpose, and he's in control of it. And we have to trust him with that. And let's reflect when we experience hardship and when we see that the world is going and turning downwards. Let's understand and know that God is in control of the evil and the good. And he's bringing both and, and working both together for his own purpose. Because no matter what, he has to allow it. In Jesus' name, amen.